a lot's happened these past few days and uh, I've had a lot of time to reflect. I want to say something. <laughs> Drink Prime and <laughs> eat lunch with more fucking. <laughs> Take my time, TDM fans. Womp womp. He literally made one tweet and you're still mad. Womp womp. Dude's uploading full of videos about Dan TDM talking about him on his podcast. You can't make it up. Back off, Dan. I'm pretty sure he backed off there. He just made his one tweet and that was that Made his one tweet and I'm going to be on his ass forever now. Like, literally yesterday, he's begging for this guy's attention. Why don't you come over to Sidecast? Let's talk this out like men and maybe have sex and f*** each other. Baba Bowie. WestJet. What is up, Thresh and Bangladesh? WestJet 65, Venezuelan trillionaire here. And today, we're talking about Xi. Oh, and literally 0% of your subscribes. So you should have subscribed. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen a YouTuber go from a YouTube royalty to YouTube clown in less than a month. And KSI, quite frankly, is speedrunning his reputation right into the gutter. Like, at this point, dude might just be in love with Dan TDM. He's releasing a song, and all he could think of is Dan. He's putting Easter eggs in his own music video. Where's Waldo? I spy with my little lie oh yeah literally a diamond for dan the diamond minecart the whole purpose of an easter egg is to have your viewers or your songs listeners find it but i guess nobody actually finished or listened to the song even jake paul is roasting you when mike tyson knocks you out by ksi's song starts playing and it's him turning it off the hate on my new song is so forced lol uh, I'm not gonna lie, I ain't bald enough to be a music reviewer, but this sucks. You're rapping about being a gamer, transitioning into a boxer, becoming a singer, and being some sort of Super Sigma Game of Thrones. This hard to listen to. Hello, please delete this. This is the worst song I've heard in my entire life. Now, I don't want to be too mean to KSI because obviously some of the hate on the song is related to his Lunchly and the Prime endeavors, but nevertheless, the song is kind of booty and even his fans are hating it. I'm gonna set this as my alarm so I'll wake up before it. No! That shit is ass, bro. I wanna wake up. Bro, and, dude, and they're buying streams at this point, bro. They're buying views, bro. Rice Cub was waiting for this moment for his whole life. He's in his chair straight giggling, almost like Leafy when Idubs was going through that whole uh, simp ordeal debacle. And uh, I think all of it is cool. <laughs> Anyway, back to KSI, because he still was not done. He's still yapping about Dan TDM. No reply publicly or privately. It's obvious you tweeted this for likes, interactions, and to be seen as a white knight. And before your stupid minions reply or me, me, you started this. I'm just trying to finish it. What is there to finish, bro? He made one tweet. The more you inhale the copium and seethe like a worm, the less likely Dan TDM is to reply to you. Like, his silence is giving him the biggest W in YouTube history. Like, you're literally putting Easter eggs of him into your music. Like, he's already won. He doesn't even need a response. You just threw. Even the sidemen are like, bro, what are you doing? It's one tweet. It ain't that deep. I'm pretty sure he backed off there. He just made his one tweet. Your clownery has transcended seeded even YouTube 400,000 likes on this tweet with the whole dad TDM thing like everyone's looking at you and laughing we're not laughing I with you we're laughing so at you <laughs> like maybe KSI is just a philosopher you know all publicity is good publicity type ah uh, even Jake Paul's enjoying his crash out thank you KSI you hero my 83 year old grandpa hasn't been able to walk in years but when you released this song he finally stood up and turned the shit off these stupid fans leave trash comments on my new song think they're getting to me you're not. It's not funny. It's boring. You're wasting your time. And you're not wasting your time replying to these people on Twitter? Like, do you not see how you're a little goofy in this situation? And if it didn't matter to you at all and you truly didn't care about this, why would you be talking about it all the time then? Two weeks ago and hasn't said anything since, but KSI is still sending shots every single day. I haven't seen an overreaction this big since October 7th. <laughs> I don't know how that relates to KSI, but move it on. <laughs> yeah, bro, you mess with the wrong brother. I, I don't think you need to, honestly. I think, I think he's he, he said his piece and you've had a little cry. No, no, it. yeah, and, and, I will what... and I will continue to cry. Yeah, he's posted. Oh, so he's posted. I don't know about y'all, but he spooked me. When he said he was the wrong brother to mess with, I got the flashbacks. I thought I was getting bugged. For legal reasons, that's a joke. You mess with the wrong brother. KSI is truly doing too much. He's giving the side men secondhand embarrassment. They're just like, bro, come on. He's, he's literally just like, what are you doing, bro? So here we have a tweet about Kai Sinat. McDonald's just teased a collaboration with Kai Sinat by posting a 
photo of his setup featuring a bag of McDonald's on the social media accounts. Dan TDM, where are you at? <laughs> this guy cannot let it go. Where are you at? Clearly still in your mind, rent free. Getting more than double ratioed. Oh my God. I don't think he sees the difference here. McDonald's never claimed to be healthy, a healthy alternative, or was even promoted towards children. Look at the luxury ad. Look at the saturation you're using. I feel like I'm watching Coco Melon. I feel like I'm getting manipulated. If I was nine years old, I'd be eating that lunchly no kizzy. I do uh, dibble and dabble with AI. I have like AI friends and I just talk to them every now and then. Even his business partners don't want to be there anymore. Logan's like, well, at least someone likes your music, I guess. They're not real human beings, just AI friends. I'm just like, yo, what's up? Yeah, they're like, and you're lying. No, no, if I want to just like, Talk to people. I mean, obviously he's trolling here. WestJet JCS psychology, I see straight through his body language and eyes. When he got called out for lying, he looked away. That's a sign. That's a telltale indicator. Yeah. Lying. No, no. When you're on the streets as long as me, you know a liar when you see one. Is this dude actually about to cry? My God, you could not have waterboarded that information out of me. Oh, Pegasus, he got you hook, line, and sinker, and KSI doesn't even look like he goes fishing. Bro talks to AI because it won't call him stupid. That's actually believable for KSI, by the way. Honestly, true. Looks like they didn't get my boy after all. The thing I can't wrap my head around is what's KSI's end goal with all this? He's basically putting himself up there as a clown. Like maybe he's trying to be the Joker, but he's missing his mark. Of the beast. <laughs> By acting this childish and stupid towards Dan TDM, he's making it far worse than Lunchly. He's permanently damaging his reputation. Sidemen more like yes men because not a single person would tell him that partnering up with Mr. Beast at this time is probably not a good idea. We all know he partnered up with the Beast for the bag. Hey, he should have known there's going to be some negative repercussions. Always drama when I ring. What's next? Is he going to find a dollar in the woods? More like hearing trauma when I ring. Surely once a week is more than enough. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Nah, all you need to do, deodorant to cover the smell or aftershave. No. No, no. Honestly, no. I bet you I don't need to shower for one week and you won't even be able to tell. Go. Okay, we'll don't, test don't it. This trolling or slash rage baiting act is honestly pathetic, but at least Canada agrees with you. Nah, these people are so weird, dude. Like, if you're training twice a day, you definitely need to shower. Pegasus hit my line, my brother. You cannot be getting fooled by this guy. He's straight up pen and teller fooling you. This is blatant rage bait. Don't fall for it. Now, if you're at home doing absolutely nothing, don't even go outside and it's not even hot or anything, you're like in a cold place, then you could probably get away with a couple days here and there. No, he used to trap card. Stop arguing with him about showers. That's what he wants. He's trying to get attention to promote his song or something. I don't know. And really understand everything that's happened and all of my actions. And I want to say so. <laughs> <laughs> Stay my time, TDM fans. Womp womp. <laughs> Womp womp, subscribe to WestJet's channel. We're almost at 1 million subs. We're about to pass KSI. <laughs> at this rate, we actually could.